So now we are going to create our artwork either on paper or you can do it digitally with Sketchpad 5.1. So type in Sketchpad 5.1 and you don't have to sign in, but it will bring you to a new screen. If there's a mark on here, you can go ahead and you can click the back button or click the plus sign and it will give you a new fresh page. You're gonna choose a color that you want for the background. I chose orange. Go ahead and click outline. You're not gonna click fill. That should have the checkerboard there so it's empty. But choose the color, I chose orange, and then you can choose the eyedropper. We're gonna start with the shade. So that's the darker orange color. And I am going to begin by creating my orange shade around the edge. So go ahead with your paintbrush tool selected and you can begin filling in around the edge. Now I chose orange. Again, you can choose a color that you think of with Halloween or you can choose your favorite color. It's completely up to you. Go ahead and experiment with Sketchpad. There's a lot of cool techniques you can do. Once you have finished with that first shade around the edge, you're gonna transition to a slightly lighter shade. So you can go ahead, change that eyedropper tool. And I'm noticing that's not different enough. So you can experiment and see what is a big enough change, but it's still showing kind of a shade. So it's a little lighter version of that orange color. I have my shades. Now I'm gonna go ahead back to that base color. I think I'm gonna choose a color that's already selected on the palette. And I'm just creating, in my case, an oval shape. You could create any design you would like. Now I'm gonna to transition to a tint. So that's my orange color mixed with white. And I'm gonna fill that in the center. So now I have my shades and tints as the background. You can add as many layers as you would like. Next, I'm going to create my silhouettes. Those are the outlines. So I'm going to change to the black color. You can change the tool if you want as well. Um, you can choose pencil, paintbrush, pen, up to you. Change the size if you would like, and feel free to start creating your haunted house. So you're creating the silhouette or the outline. I'm noticing that I maybe want my lines to be a little thicker, so you can go ahead and change that. Feel free to experiment. You can trace over as you would like. Feel free to change tools as well. So artists have some fun creating the silhouette of your artwork. That is the outline. You can go ahead and create details in the foreground. That's in the bottom of the paper. You can create details in the background. Maybe I want a moon. You can even go ahead and you can fill in shapes that you create, for example, my haunted house. And then I can go back and I can add emphasis with different colors. So let's say I have finished my haunted house and I've gone ahead and drawn my fence here. I've added all the details I would like. I can change the color by clicking on the outline tool. I'm gonna to choose yellow here, and then maybe I want to add details like a door. You can adjust the size as you need to fill in space and continue creating. So feel free to add as much detail as you would like. This is just one example of what you can create. Feel free to add detail. First, add your tints and shades to the background with your base color, I chose orange. Then go ahead, create the silhouette using that black color. And then you can add emphasis to your artwork as well by adding different colors and details. 
So have fun with your artwork. When you're all done, please go ahead, copy this link and add it to a new Google Doc to turn in on Google Classroom, or go ahead and take a screenshot to turn in on Google Classroom. Have fun, and I am excited to see what you create.